Hello everyone, it's Golden Self here, and I just wanted to bring you an update about Morrowind. Now, obviously, certain game looms on the horizon here. Um, not naming any names. I was hoping to just fix the frame rate problems that I had with Morrowind and post, you know, get get it going as quickly as I could. But it's taking me a lot longer than I had initially wanted it to. And um, I hate doing videos like this. This isn't a cancellation video. I'm not canceling Morrowind. Um, but I've been having a hell of a hard time getting it to perform well with Tamriel Rebuild and um, uh, you can see I have several copies here, several backups. Yeah, like uh, the Distant Land thing. Um, lately, when I now I've been trying various ways of installing it. I've been manually doing all the setup for this and uh, making my problems worse and doing all kinds of things and I've been having a really tough time. And um, by the way, I was editing already over here. Uh, Looky, looky, and um, and I realized that I should probably mention that I also tried OpenMW out for the first time with Tamriel Rebuilt, but also without it. Uh, more accurately, I just tried Tamriel Rebuilt with OpenMW, and I also tried Tamriel Rebuilt with Vanilla Morrowind game. So here it is with OpenMW. As you can see, the frame rate is poor um, in a bit of combat in this dense forested area. So OpenMW, the idea is to replace the Morrowind engine, and it's on the .39 release, and this is actually a complete release in the sense that you can play through the complete um, main quest line, and it's compatible with a whole lot of mods because it's just an engine replacement. It's meant to upgrade the engine so that it is more efficient and optimized and runs faster. However, in my testing, I tended to find that um, uh, vanilla Morrowind played much better, performed much better with Tamriel Rebuilt. Um, and there was no significant advantage other than um, the widescreen, which I'm sure you could accomplish with another mod, and um, you know potentially some other improvements that are native to OpenMW, like um, better resolutions. Um, so here's more OpenMW, this time in Old Ebonheart, which incidentally is an amazing looking city. We, I don't think we're gonna get, um, I might show an aerial view in here or something, but uh, uh, it's it's very dense and very very laggy uh, under especially with my fully loaded out uh, From before this was by the way both of these are completely vanilla one is with OpenMW and one is not um, I don't think there's any other differences between them the frame rates are in different places on the screen, but you know um, I mean there's other differences practical differences, but as you can see the performance is just better with with regular and I don't know why that is. Um, and all, by the way, on all of these, the performance is basically perfect when I'm not recording. So don't be um, discouraged if you are looking to play these and not do recordings of them. Um, or if you have a PC with a better graphics card than I do, um, you're going to be able to do this recording and stuff, no problem. For me, I, I do think it's the graphics processing, not my processor. Um, let's just continue looking here. So this was another very impressive building that I, that I came across. Um, and here we are in just OpenMW. The frame rate's around, you know, between 10 to 20 frames per second with my recording. Go away, diseased creature. Okay, and now with regular Morrowind, we can see um, it's a bit more quick. It's quicker. I didn't really get a, a very, the best comparison with this particular shot. But anyway, getting back to the, the point of my PC. So here's my processor. Um, here is my graphics card. It's a GTX 780M. In other words, it's a laptop graphics card. So if I want my PC to really be a good gaming PC, or rather this this Mac that I have, um, I'm going to need to, well, I'm gonna need to probably get an external graphics card or just get a new PC. So that's, <laughs> geez, look at me try to click on this. Um, that's sometime in the future, I suppose. In the meantime, I'm going to continue playing with Morrowind, but I'm going to continue releasing episodes, I think, or try a different format, make some compromises, but it's not a top priority. I feel like there are better videos I could be making. You know, at first my approach was kind of quantity over quality, but now that I've gotten good at actually making videos that um, are of decent quality uh, in terms of audio and video, especially the last few, you may have noticed that the, uh, the audio was a little bit better and the... Um, I've managed to increase the fidelity of the video just a tiny bit. Still not perfect, but... Oh, and by the way, I had to record this with my old recording software, so I'm sorry if the visual quality is a little worse. It's because I had to record the desktop directly, so... It created a few complications as well with, with the 
Morrowind stuff that you saw earlier and actually had to be scaled up. But never mind that. Just so you know, the video quality in this video is a little bit worse than usual for a reason and I know about it. Anyway, it seems that I should probably start trying to do other videos that have are more edited, more unique, and um, can basically attract more people to the channel. That's that's my goal right now. So we may see a bit of a, a bit of a slowdown on the Let's Play content, but to be honest, not many people are going to be missing it. I hate to say um, that that was just sort of uh, an experiment. You know, let's see how I do it at Let's Plays, and um, let's see how I do at Let's Plays that are a bit more refined, or maybe have a bit more punchy editing, or or some bit more narrative involved, um, you know, something that, or, or more of a creative concept. So, um, given that I'm capable of these things, I think I ought to give it a shot. So, uh, and with Stellar Stellaris, we may see some of that, but I also would like to do some of that with Dark Souls 3. And I'm also, I was thinking about, I was trying to do it with Skyrim, but I also was having performance limitations there. Sligo, Sligo will finish. Um, Sligo is definitely, things have definitely been happening with Sligo. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it lately, especially. And we'll see some other EU4 content um, as I do um, more multiplayer. Uh, every week I'm doing multi a multiplayer session and I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to release a video for every session. So I'm going to edit each, each recording session down to 20 minutes because they're five hour play sessions that we do this. And uh, every Saturday. And uh, believe it or not. And, uh, and then um, and then edit, you know, for each one of those, I'll release this video. And I'm just going to release those all at once, you know, Netflix style, because uh, I don't have the, uh, the viewership for a day-by-day -day release to be, to make sense. Um, you know, if you think about it, uh, the reason YouTubers release stuff on a day-by-day -day basis uh, is actually because if you have a bunch of subscribers and you're doing a regular series that they all expect, They'll all watch that series right away, that, that episode, the, you know, on a daily basis. Uh, but, but if you only have 19 subscribers, like I do, uh, and those 19 subscribers watch something on a, on a daily basis, well, if theoretically uh, later on I'm going to have many more subscribers, which is the ideal, uh, that, then, then most of the, the views that will actually occur on the, on the content I release will be in retrospect. So it won't matter whether I release something day by day or all at once, particularly a mini series like that, uh, where it's already all recorded, you know, up to several weeks before. Um, so you know, over a month, really, most likely is when the, the event ends. Uh, the the uh, this match, of course, it's assuming that I don't quit before then, <laughs> but I don't think I will. It's going to be epic if I if I stick with it. Um, actually, I just went and checked, and I have actually 18 subscribers. <laughs> Um, but, but on the subject of subscribers, you know, 18 subscribers, woo, you know, I mean, thank you for, for coming along, uh, so far and for joining me, um, you know, taking that chance on me, so to speak. I've, I know that I'm a very new YouTuber and I have a long ways to go before I'm really, um, a standout kind of character, but, um, really appreciate the, the faith, so to speak, and the support. So, um. I hope you can continue to enjoy my content, and if you do, feel free to like and uh, leave a comment to tell me, give me some, some feedback. This is, of course, a more, in some ways, personal video, so it tends to provoke a bit more discussion when I see other YouTubers do it. So uh, I would appreciate that, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.